guys? It is Coach Kristen here, and today I am walking you through my very own uh, lower body warm up. So, four exercises only, and they're things that I do to warm up my lower body before getting into things like heavy squats, heavy deadlifts. We really want to prime those muscles in our core, our low back, glutes, hips, you name it. We want to warm them up, get them activated before we get into those heavy compound movements. Um, I will be using a booty band today, so you can find these pretty cheap from anywhere. Highly recommend um, any size will work. All right, let's get started. Our first exercise is actually called cat camel, very similar to cat cow, which we use in yoga, but slightly different. You're gonna wanna make sure that your wrists and your shoulders are in a straight line, and then as well, your knees and your hips in a straight line. So creating that tabletop position. So as we inhale, we wanna try and round that back, creating a hill. So, and then as we exhale, we want to try and retract our shoulder blades um, and try and yeah, create a little bit of a valley with our back. So that's the slight difference between cat-cow is cat stays the same, of course, and cow, you're just really trying to focus on creating as much movement in our low back as possible. Compared to camel, we want to really try and retract those shoulders as well. Yeah, for this exercise, I would do it about 10 to 12 times. So again, inhaling, rounding, creating a hill with our back. And then exhaling, retracting those shoulders as well, trying to get those hips up. The main goal for this exercise is to warm up your spine and your low back as well. So again, really important with those shoulders. Second exercise that we have, I just call them hip circles. I do about 10 each way on each leg. So same tabletop position. What you're gonna to wanna to do is come out to the side and come around. Out to the side, come around. So as I said, I would do about 10 of these going this direction. And then I would go the opposite direction about 10 times. So then going up and around. Okay, really just trying to open up those hips. A lot of times by doing this, my hips crack. <laughs> um, and I would do that on both sides, about 10 to 12. And our next exercise that we have is a hip extension to an overhead reach. Now, very simple. You can refer to this exercise as like a seated squat for starters. So you're sitting back on your heels, okay? And what you wanna do is, as we come up, we're gonna shoot our hips forward and we're gonna reach overhead. Okay, really try and pull those shoulders um, down and back. So again, try to get a nice stretch in those hip flexors. Come up, squeeze the glutes at the top, and come back with those arms. So this one I'm do same, about 10 to 12, sitting on the heels, coming up, reaching up. Oh, that feels amazing. And last but not least, we are going to grab our booty band. Okay, easiest to just pop it just above the knees. Like I said, any resistance. Today I have medium. Oh gosh, really bad for about these rubber ones that they always want to bunch up. So I do have a fabric one, but I don't have it on me. Okay, so make sure. Oh, just above the knees. All right, and now we've got it just above the knees. So all we're gonna do is get into a semi-squat stance. So just soften those knees, hinge at the hips a little bit. And you're just gonna go for about a minute, walking one step to one side and one step to the other side. So stepping out and the other side. So what this does is it activates those glutes. Okay, we wanna get those glutes firing before any heavy squats, deadlifts. Okay, now you want to maintain keeping that tension on the band. You should never step out and step together because you're going to lose that band tension. Just trying to keep hip width apart. Step out and out. All right. So like I said, four exercises, keeping it super simple. And yeah, try it before your next leg workout. And hopefully this video helped.
see you all next time on the health hub.